second exercise. Second exercise. Very simple. Many of my students already heard so many times. I practice every day, morning. So you use your hand. Then you say, I, when I miss, I wish all being happiness. Breathe in. I wish all being free from suffering. I wish all being happiness. I wish all being free from suffering. I wish all being happiness. I wish all being free from suffering. So right now what happens is when you do this, your heart, your, your chest is closed like this. Your mind, huh? your mouth say, I wish all being your heart. Man, yeah, I give it. No, but jam, jam, jam. Yeah, okay, and so whatever you want to do. It's close. Okay? So, what do you do? When you do this, your mind, your mouth, word is like a key. Your, your heart is like a lock. Okay? Now, when you do this, do this, your key of your mind. Goes down, focus your heart, it's opening. When open up, you can feel. You do like this. No, no, not like this. Not tight. You're gonna relax. I wish all being happiness. You're gonna say, yes, yes. The whole of your body, your chest, your body, gonna say, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Now you do. Mouth and head say yes, yes. Heart say mm, no, no. So when you start doing this. When the heart is open, what happens is unconditional caring, unconditional care you're experiencing yourself. When you're that experiencing, you're not hungry for true love. You understand? You're not hungry for true love. You always feel very warm, your heart. You look at your parents, whatever, friend, family member, situation, you see a little different. You don't do other negative way. But what happened is nowadays, we watch Romeo and Juliet stupid love stories. This is the most stupid love story ever. Okay, how I tell you. The man dies, or whoever dies first, the person doesn't know who died or not. And they both die. How stupid that is. Love is to live. Love and care is not for die. Now, the Romeo and Juliet person who wrote, that person never experienced good life. You check? Who wrote the Romeo and Juliet? He never experienced good life. Now, that person write a love story. How can be good? So stupid. And all of us, we watch this. And, oh, so good. Oh, you cry. So stupid. That's why I don't watch these movies. I think it's very stupid. You want to watch stupid movie? You watch this. So, do this. What happened? You calms your heart, opens your heart. When you are unconditional care in your heart, when your family members say something, something, shouting at you, you know, the issue with the family, you don't take personally how strong the heart is. You don't take personally, meaning you hurt. But deep down, heart, your heart is not injured. Like a lotus, when many people love lotus, right? Lotus grow in the mud, right? But when they open up, very clean, right? Same thing. Your heart is open up, 
through this practice, family issue not going to hurt so bad. Friend, colleagues, not going to hurt that bad. And you not look for true love. You understand? That means you not have hole in your heart. Many of us sometimes have hole inside heart. So we say, I want, I want to love, I want to love. Then you don't get to love. You get somebody else and they're going to cheat you or whatever. And you next month again go, how difficult. That's why you can have nice couples, family members, no problem. But your heart is good. No hole. You not choose wrong people. Many of us young people choose wrong people. And they ask me, Sifu, how to choose the right people? I say, your mind, the state of mind, in the wrong place. That's why you wrong, wrong, choose wrong people. Your heart, your mind, in the right place, you always attract the right people. So simple. Hmm? So I give you exercise. Now you do this one month. Benefit you, you teach this to your friends. Okay? How many minutes this do? Three minutes. This, four minutes. This, three minutes. Now together, seven minutes. I wish all being happiness. Three minutes. 